Hello everyone, and this is our updated video for the Beaver Wi-Fi. The app recently got an update, so I thought we can go over it again and uh, just basically walk you through step-by-step -step installation. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is make sure your operator has power and then make sure you have one light on your Biba. Uh, that should normally mean that it's ready to go and has the mini Wi-Fi created so you can connect to it. Uh, so the very next step, of course, will be to get into uh, your Wi-Fi. Once you open Wi-Fi, you're going to find your Biba uh, network, the SSID. Select it. Uh, the password is normally one through nine. Uh, it, of course, my phone's already re uh, you know, remembered this Biba, but in case it's a new install, uh, the password should be one through nine. Uh, it's going to say connected without internet. And a lot of times it's going to give you some sort of error. Um, you know, when you back out saying, you sure you want to stay connected? You know, there's no internet, you know, of course say yes, because you're trying to complete this install. Uh, your next step would then be uh, to open U-Control. Um, very important to, you know, have your own U-Control uh, login created before you start any of these steps. Uh, also, the same thing for any of your following users that you're going to have. Everybody should have their own U-Control login created separately. Like, nobody should be sharing one. Um, so now at this point, since you're connected to the mini Wi-Fi, you can click the plus sign at the very top. It'll tell you, uh, first they tell you to connect to your router because they want you to make sure you know your router's password uh, because a lot of people, they swear they know their router's password and they really don't. Uh, so this step is just to verify that you actually do know your router's password. Um, and then you don't necessarily have to disable your data, but it's just more uh, making sure nobody messes up, you know? Uh, the next step is, of course, you know, we already know the Biba's plugged in and we already know the Biba's powered up with its light, so we click Neck again. You do have the light on. Uh, and we're going to click next now. Once you get to that point, uh, this MAC address is actually very important, guys. Uh, just for future problems or anything, you always want to send us the MAC address with whatever email question you have about the Biba, uh, so we can get it, you know, fixed on our end a lot faster. If you, you know, start off with your MAC address, um, so then we go next, and that's a good sign that we got to this part. Uh, just because if you were not connected to the mini Wi-Fi, it would not let us move on. Uh, so at this point, we are going to name the automation. Uh, we will call it and then the installer's email address. This is if you're doing the installation, you know, this is the homeowner shouldn't put his email here. This is the person who's actually installing the gate system. Uh, you're putting your email here so the customer can get a hold of you a lot easier. Uh, the customer could also send you error codes from the operator and everything like that so you have more of an idea of what's going on um, before you come on site. Putting my email on here. Yes, you guys can reach out to me at this email. Right, next. All right, so now we are going to do the network name and password. And again, this is important to make sure you got it right the first time because uh, if not, the Beaver will not connect. Just keeping it simple. Making sure it's correct. And of course, now you will click done and proceed. Now what you're looking for here is eventually you want to make see your Wi-Fi turn off and it'll probably turn back on later connecting to your Wi-Fi if you have, you know, you know the Wi-Fi network. Uh, but you want to make sure you see the Biba turn itself off and turn back on like it's resetting like you just saw. Uh, that means your phone actually did tell it uh, to actively turn off, it reset itself, and try to find your Wi-Fi. So far, so good. We're working on step two. This process I've seen take up to 90 seconds, depending on your Wi-Fi signal. You pass step three, that means the MAC address that you're using is not tied up with the BFT server, so that's a good sign. If you get an error in step three, that's normally when you need to write to us with your MAC address so we can get it freed up, just so you guys know. Again, you could find that MAC address in the back of the Biba card.
Oh, sorry, guys. It's passing the time. It should be over with very shortly. And what you're going to be looking for also is two lights popping up on the Biba. And that is how you know that it found your network and connected and is happy with it. All right, there you go. You got your two lights. I should get some sort of confirmation on my app here shortly. All right, you control Hernandez. Your automation is ready to go. Congratulations, you're gonna click OK. Of course, you know, with this Biba app, you can have several different automations, you know what I mean? And at the same time, you can have scenarios with all these automations, but that'll be another video, just showing it to you real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna look for the one that I just created, which is the Deimos uh, A600, all right. Give it its command in the mode. Oh, didn't have the photo beam. You all guys, very important. And it starts moving. Of course, you could stop it as well. All right. And we are good to go. Thank you, guys.